the 21st century, knowledge is the key to competitiveness. Where is the new territory? Welcome to the era of biotechnology. By opening a new opportunity, Pindang Agricultural Biotechnology Park will become the hub of agriculture biotechnology in Taiwan. PABP's objectives are to transform conventional agriculture into a biotechnology industry and to form the center of green biotechnology. Also, PABP has the responsibility to promote Taiwan's agri-biotech products to the international market. Located in Pindong County, southern Taiwan, PABP has 340 hectares and developed two locations. As the one and only science park focusing on agriculture and directly managed by the central government, this park is well planned and resourceful. With the functions of production, processing and exporting, PABP opened in December 2006 and will become the center of the agricultural industry in Taiwan. Pindong has long been famous for its tropical climate, rich water resources, and agricultural productivity. The cluster effect will draw satellite farms, research institutions, and farmers' production and marketing groups working together with PABP. When this park reaches full capacity of 180 enterprises in the future, it will create over 7 million U.S. dollars in income more than 8,000 jobs, and various business opportunities in southern Taiwan. Several agricultural institutes are in the neighborhood and offer research resources and technology know-how. Therefore, PABP has a good network for permanent development. In southern Taiwan, several technology and agricultural colleges will provide an integration of human resources, information, and technology. With their joint efforts, the competitiveness of park companies will be enhanced and strengthened. From PABP, it takes only two minutes to get on Highway Number 3 and 40 minutes to drive to the Kaohsiung Harbor, Airport and High Speed Railway. Convenient transportation gives PABP a close connection to local and international markets. With the time and speed advantages, as well as import and export tax reductions, Park Enterprises will enjoy the convenience to speed up their international trade. PABP has been helping Park Enterprises contact with satellite farms in order to obtain raw materials as well as other agri-commodities. PABP, with its multi-functions for agriculture, will help park companies to make the most of their advantages. PABP is unique from other science parks because the design of PABP emphasizes ecological landscape concepts. Therefore, this park is a combination of production, biotech, living, ecology, and life. PABP will be a high-tech and high-standard place for working, living, and recreational activities in the future. Plentiful tourist spots in this tropical peninsula also add value to PABP. Employees and visitors may enjoy the beautiful landscape and cultural events as much as they like. The 
Shandong Agricultural Biotechnology Park, well planned by the government and equipped with various resources, will be the agricultural biotech center of the future. Shandong Agricultural Biotech Center is a very important part of the agricultural biotech center. 那为什么会把它建设在南部？因为南部是农业的重镇，我们有广大的平原，非常充沛的水，还有啊电，这一方面都没有问题，地址也非常的稳定。那么长期以来，南部啊就以生产农业为主，除了传统的生产之外，也可以把它变成科技的产品。这一些科技的产品。就会啊，让我们农民的所得增加，所以我们啊，政府投资在农业生物科技园区的开发，就是希望透过类似的带动，来变成一个绿色的南部的农业细岛的重镇，让整个台湾未来农业的竞争力能够因为农业生物科技园区的建构而增强。那么，我相信台湾的农业一定永远都会在世界占有一席之地。啊，农业生物科技园区啊，最自豪的应该就是啊，我们非常讲究生态啊。这个园区有两百三十三公顷，那我们已经开始在大量在植树啊，一共要植二十万棵的树木。那这个园区还有一共有三个啊生态湖，总面积加起来二十几公顷啊，在这个湖边啊跟湖内的岛上。也要用生物多样化的原则，也会布满各种呃树木，所以这个非常的啊有吸引力。农业生物科技园区啊，目前有针对九项主要产业哈、啊，在进行这个招商的工作。那这九大产业，譬如像啊农作物啊、水产啊，还有这个畜牧业的这个种畜跟种源啊。那另外像。跟消费大众的饮食安全最有关系的，譬如说，我们有将来要生产生物性农药、生物性肥料，还有像动物疫苗，这些可以让农业有更高的这个附加价值可以出现。农科是农委会啊唯一主导的一个生机园区，平东先生非常重视，所以我们的团队啊特特别跟农科成立一个单一窗口。所有的跟县府有关的案件，我们都以最迅速而且有效的前面的服务，所以龙县政府提供非常好的交通便利、水电设施。更重要的，我们是要提供一个安全的治安啊！特别整个周遭环境，除了农科以外，有一个平北的农场，它是提供。农业生物科技园区的素材跟原料啊，我们在农科旁边有一条自行车道，整体的环境放之全世界的生物科技园区，我们都是一流的园区。农农业生物科技园区啊，它提供了非常优惠的一些办法，其中有包括呃，可以透过低利贷款哦，那开始进行设厂的规划。那再者的话，在九六年底之前哈，提供了免土地租金哈，包括呃租地自建的这个厂商来讲哈，那能够很以低廉的方式哈，那取得这个土地的租金。本公司进入这个农业科技园区，还有考量到一个部分是农业科技园区，它提供了。非常好的卫星渔场以及产销班的一些合作哈，所以我们除了说投入研发以外，那在这个区块里面，我们希望说未来也是一个非常好的国际的转运中心。我们公司是在做进出口的，那我们想说，我们公司以后所向农民所采购的这些米，还有说我们自己养殖的藻类，能够经过这个园区出口，因为园区本身是一个保税仓库。不管是我们向农民购买的这些东西，以及我们公司的产品要外销，都是免税的。我们园区这边还有一个卫星农场，我们可以配合这些农场来提供原料给我们，以当做我们外销的一些基石。农业生物科技园区哈，诶，最重要的就是它跟这个农渔业的农民是结合在一起的。所以，进驻厂商在农业科技园区生产的话，有一个很好的保证，就是未来所需要的农业啊，还是畜牧业、水产业的原料
，我们会透过卫星农场啊，来建制这个供应链呢，让技术厂商在原料生产面呢、啊，可以得到最大的保障。Implements the concepts of nature, ecology, and the human touch are in harmony. The park was developed with a low-density scheme and a high-tech style. The lakes, wetland, and forest will become a recreational area for park employees and visitors. Production, agribiotech, ecology, living, and life—these are the foundations of PABP. Not only offering professional services to the agriculture industry. But also a friendly and beautiful place for the community. Multifunctional park design, various incentives for park enterprises, high-quality services, nature and humans in harmony. EABP offers the opportunity to reactivate Taiwan's agriculture. It is the best choice for agricultural industries to set up their R&D and production base, and then to flourish in the international market. Up with the trend, retain leadership in agriculture, encouraging agrobiotech innovations. Pindong Agricultural Biotechnology Park, working with you toward a brighter, better tomorrow. <laughs>